Center for Multidimensional Carbon Materials within the Institute for Basic Science has discovered a completely new way to synthesize diamonds. The team was able to grow diamonds using a liquid metal alloy composed of gallium, iron, nickel, and silicon under ambient pressure condition, breaking the existing paradigm of diamond synthesis. But first, let's take a look at how synthetic diamonds are traditionally made in the industry. HPHT, which stands for High Pressure High Temperature, is used to create the vast majority of the synthetic diamonds in the market. It simulates the conditions similar to the Earth's mantle, where natural diamonds are formed. Diamond seed crystal, usually a small existing diamond, is placed in a containment cube. The cube is pressed to enforce the same pressure a diamond faces under the Earth's surface, typically at 50 to 60,000 times the atmospheric pressure. The cube is intensely heated through electric pulses. The heat and pressure cause the carbon to crystallize. It takes weeks up to a month to grow a small diamond, which is limited in size. On the other hand, in this new diamond synthesis method developed by the IBS. Researchers first made a liquid metal alloy system consisting of 77.75% gallium, 11% nickel, 11% iron, and 0.25% silicon. The researchers then heated the alloy in a chamber to 1025 degrees C and exposed it to methane and hydrogen gases under one atmosphere pressure. The carbon from the gases becomes deposited into the molten alloy. 1. At the bottom of the metal alloy, the carbon becomes increasingly concentrated. 2. After around 15 minutes, the concentrated region of carbon begins to spontaneously crystallize into diamond. 3. It was possible to obtain macroscopic pieces of diamond after only several hours of this process. This discovery completely overhauls the long-standing belief that diamonds can only form under extreme conditions. Currently, the researchers are working to figure out how this process occurs. The biggest advantage of the new diamond synthesis method is that it does not require costly equipment, such as those necessary to generate gigapascals of pressure. Only a simple furnace and a crucible are needed which means that every chemistry lab in the world should be able to replicate this process. It is expected that further improvement and optimization is due to occur soon, once many labs around the world begin replicating and exploring this new method. What does this mean for humanity? Most people may dismiss this new discovery as simply a cheaper way to produce shiny gemstone diamond rings. However, it is much bigger than that. This study revealed that diamonds can be created in a totally unconventional route. This means there is hope that there may be a method to make diamond fiber that is inexpensive, long, and can be produced reliably. This would be an incredible structural material for application almost anywhere. The strong mechanical properties of diamonds mean they can replace the steel inside of bridges and buildings. People may even ride in cars and planes made from using diamond instead of metal. One intriguing prospect is that these diamond nanothreads could prove to be the material that we need for a space elevator. The cables for the space elevator require immense load-bearing capacity, which is far from being met by using steel cables or any other material that we can conventionally produce at the moment. It is calculated that diamond fibers which are remarkably light and strong at the same time, are one of only a few materials that may be suitable for this purpose. Let's hope that this discovery is the one that marks humanity's transition from the Iron Age to the Carbon Age.